Ooh, summertime, early July. And I'm in, I guess one could say, the countryside. In the province of Quebec, the eastern townships, not far from Lac Megantic, in the province of Quebec, Canada. And these are superb, delicious, awesome, organic, non-GMO, the original wild strawberries. I mean, these things are unbelievable. I don't know how they survive the winter. And there's a whole bunch of them growing right next to the uh, family cottage. I mean, look at these things. Some of them are pretty big, I think. And if you let them ripen like these guys here, the dark ones, obviously, <laughs> the flavor is unbelievable. I mean, Mother Nature really knew what she was doing before we started to play around with these things. And I remember my mom picking a few gallons of these and making strawberry jam with these wild strawberries. And it's just, there's nothing like it. And I think even in five centuries when we've genetically modified everything to death, to be able to find these original nuggets of gold I still think people are going to think they're awesome. More strawberries. Wild strawberries. It's amazing that they can survive the cold winter in Canada and come back every year. And uh, of course they're nothing like the super jumbo genetically modified God knows what they do to them. Mega strawberries that you buy in the grocery store that usually are hard like a rock don't really have a lot of flavor sometimes they're good i have to agree but these suckers i mean they're awesome there's so many wild strawberries and they're big this year i think because we had a lot of rain They taste really good, sweet and just compact, powerful packets of flavor.